A day after Hezbollah's drone attack on an Israeli base killed four soldiers and wounded dozens, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to hit the Iran-backed group without mercy. He said Israel will continue to mercilessly strike Hezbollah in all parts of Lebanon, including Beirut. Netanyahu made this statement after his visit to the military base hit by the militant group near Binyamina in northern Israel. I want to clarify, we will continue to mercilessly strike Hezbollah in all parts of Lebanon, including Beirut. All this according to operational considerations. We have proven it recently and we will continue to prove it in the days to come. The Israeli Defense Forces said that it is investigating how the drone evaded its sophisticated air defense systems and hit the Golani Brigade training facility south of Haifa. Israeli Army released footage of what it said was the military operations of the Golani Brigade in southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, Israeli soldier Imatali, pardon me, Imatai Alon was killed with three others in the drone attack. He was buried in northern Israel's Agamon Hula on Monday with mourners crying over his coffin wrapped in an Israeli flag. Prior to Netanyahu's comments on Hezbollah new airstrikes against targets in Lebanon, including one in a northern Christian majority town of Aitho killed at least 21 people on Monday. According to Aitho mayor, the house hit in Israeli strike had been rented to displaced families. Now, furthermore, Israeli army released footage of what it said was a Hezbollah underground compound in southern Lebanon. Israeli army spokesperson Admiral Daniel Hagadi commenting from inside the tunnel said that the alleged compound was intended for Hezbollah to do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. We're now in the bunker uh, that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages, and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. As Israel presses its campaign against Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon, the United Nations Security Council voiced strong concerns after several UN peacekeeping positions in southern Lebanon came under fire. The UN peacekeeping chief said United Nations peacekeepers will stay in all options in Lebanon despite positions, pardon me, in Lebanon despite Israeli calls for them to move. The decision uh, was made uh, that UNIFIL would uh, currently stay in all its position uh, uh, in spite of the uh, calls that were made uh, uh, by the Israeli Defense Forces to uh, evacuate uh, the position that are in the vicinity of the Blue Line. Now, on the other hand, the Israeli Prime Minister has rejected accusations that Israeli troops deliberately targeted UNIFIL peacekeepers in Lebanon as completely false and repeated a call for them to be withdrawn from combat zones. Hezbollah uses UNIFIL facilities and positions as cover while it attacks Israeli cities and communities. These attacks have claimed the lives of many Israelis, including yesterday. In Gaza, meanwhile, the Palestinian Ministry of Health said the Israeli forces killed two Palestinians, including a teenager, in the West Bank city of Jenin, which has seen repeated military raids. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned the large number of civilian casualties in the intensifying Israeli campaign in northern Gaza. Meanwhile, in Iraq, a funeral was held for Iranian Revolutionary Guard's Deputy Commander, Brigadier General Abbas Nufurshan, who was killed in Israeli strikes along with Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah on 27th of September. This is one of the two funerals held for him in Iraq. The second one will be held in the city of Najaf and the later the body will be taken to Iran for the burial.